to being a sculptor, an illustrator, and a bookmaker and printer. She was an incredible poet and also a mind, a way of thinking about creating. And if you look at the Constitution Freezes and you think that she actually envisioned, that was her choice. She was free to choose her subject matter. And she chose that. And then when you look at the message in the image of what she chose, to put the farmer face to face with the businessman and show that relationship, which is still what we're absolutely struggling with right now. And she imaged that in symbol 
in a very revolutionary way that we were, we're still barely accomplishing in art. So I think that the way that she thinks, in addition to her work, needs to be explored and um, deepen our understanding of who this woman was. So these are um, from her book. So, and, and what you'll find is this sense of the deep relationship with art. Does the stone use me to find itself? Some days it is so remote, standing separate from me, that my hands cannot pick up the tools to touch it. Any intrusion of my troubled nature is rejected. It is itself complete, silent and resistant. Can pain be transmitted to the stone through the hammer's blow? Can joy be absorbed in rock to sound in stillness? And as the tool tenderly shapes the stone, the hidden self of that granite is given into my hands. The rock falls away to reveal that which is not of my making. Who is the carver? That's our essential question. And as the tool tenderly shapes the stone, the hidden self of the granite is given into my hands. Who is the carver? What ancient knowing lives within these hands? What cells constructed from what decay? What meandering, directionless transformations of the elements from dust to air to linked bodies locked in love, breath mingled as the moist fluid creates unknowing the knowing hands that carve this stone and the epilogue in the back of stone dust at the completion of the sort of biography of this journey quietly the rock has formed as it was slowly chipped the stone figure has used the tool to become itself it has moved through many aspects changing subtly to evoke its own fulfillment now the carver is held in the rock. The rock is greater, is deeper, more pure than I. And this human tool has absorbed its depth and its strength and moves in a new magnitude. And the revelation of the stone is the revelation of the sculptor, still unknown. March 29th, 1966, <coughs> Applegate, Maryland. Very good. So. representing my matriarch, our matriarch who passed in September, who was trained by Lenore, and we now train between 500 and 1,000 women per month in this wow. same kind of thinking. So what Megan was saying is the importance of the enduring influence of the message, and we have thousands of people who are present with us right now who have, who have studied this line. So right. we're really pleased to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So this house is very beautiful. This house was designed the woman who gave us the sculpture.